Hey guys, this is how to create a form for Notion that collects the answers in a Notion page, in a Notion table. Um, we do this, simple Notion forms. Uh, click the link in the description. You'll be taken here. And let me show you first what we'll get to, and then I'll show you the process. So no big grand review. I'll give you a quick spoiler. Let's see. Over here, what I can see is I'm in my Notion. So this works both on... Uh, notion based websites built with simple.ink or just in notion by itself perfectly fine in either way um, i'm in my notion page and as you can see i have this form right here it's embedded it fits the page works perfectly on the right hand side what i can see is this is where my replies get collected so all the submissions from any user of your form so let's say it's an email form which we'll do in a second um, i have the emails here Boom, and some more fields that they will have filled in. Um, if you wanna take it off for a test drive, uh, I mean the live demo, the actual form, just go to our page and uh, try us out. See see something here, uh, check us out. But anyway, let's see how we'd be doing this. Um, just go to the page, click the blue button, and what you'll be taken to is this page right here. So you're already into step one. Um, into stage one, I should say. Step one of stage one, this is getting confusing. Step one is create a table database in Notion. So this is where your answers will be collected. I have two here. These are the very ones that are available on this page right here. So we're using our own product. Um, what you wanna do is on a page where you want these answers to be collected, just click the plus button and scroll until you see what are we looking for? Table database inline, or um, it could be a full page anyway. So we type the plus or I click slash and I do table database. I did this either inline or just what I said, full page. I do inlines because it's easier to, to go straight into doing it. Uh, clicking on the full page opens a new page. Now, very important is you don't want to get this table. So not a basic block table. If you see this, that's not good. Delete that. What you need is a table database. So cool. Um, fill this in and this is the title. I would delete this simply because, um, oh, how do I delete? Maybe I should start following my own uh, tutorials on how to use Notion. I'll delete that simply because I already have this here, but feel free to fill this up as you wish. So um, step two is select your Notion connection. I'll connect to Notion. I will get this, let's spend a second here. So I'll get this connection invitation. Um, let me just change to my workspace. Um, let's see, all we're getting access to is the ability to see, is for you to point to us in a way, I guess. Uh, this is where I want my answers to be collected. And for us to write, to because it's all happening, we do the code in the back end, so, you, so this makes it a no-code solution. Um, we take care of moving all that information into your database table. We don't get access to any sensitive data, to any private info, to any anything that can compromise you. And at the end of the day, this, this page, right now you're on Notion, so uh, our connection is mediated by Notion themselves. If we were to do anything shady, they would ditch us and we don't want to do that because it's our reputation on the line. But this is just a second, uh, just a quick thought on why we do, why we have to do this. So it's part of the process. And um, over here, you have two ways. You can either give us access to the very page where your, um, how's this called? Where your database table is placed. Or you can give us access to the whole workspace, depending on how comfortable you are with doing that. Most people don't have a problem with that. But um, if you do, just give us access to this. To, to explain why, what's the difference, if you give us access to the whole workspace, in the future, when you add a new table, we will already have access to it. So it makes it easier on this very page we've just been to. Uh, if it's all the same to you, just do this. If not, just give us access to the very page. Um, you will know if it's making you comfortable or uncomfortable. But regardless, connect it. And we should be in a second here. All right, this is what happens when I spent way too long talking to you guys about the privacy issues. This got deconnected, so I just went for the whole process again. Once you finish that, you'll get to here, step three. You'll need to select the Notion table that 
you wish to be the collection pot, so to speak, for your replies. In my case, it's here, it's this one, because we'll just be doing a simple one. Um, if you add a new one, make sure you click this, refresh the list, so dot, 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 refresh the list. We'll pull again all the tables we can find, but let's move on. We're now at step two, which is on the left-hand side, I see the settings of how I want my table, sorry, my form to be like, and we'll explore them one by one. On the right-hand side, we see a live preview. So this is what the user will see, uh, once what your users will see once you embed this form in Notion. So um, let's see, what I have here is, by default, Notion adds this name field, and um, you can't change it. So if you want a name field, leave it there. If not, do what I do, which is click on this on the cog, so, oops, the cog button, and hide, turn that on. So let me take that off so you can see it. There you go. This is what it looks like by default. If you don't want it, let's just hide it. And um, let's see, we've got the email field. Oh, I need to show you as well while we're here. Give me a sec. We can move these things around. So you can change the order of the fields. Maybe I want email first, maybe I want email second. In my case, I will hide name so the order doesn't really matter. Let's see, what else can I do in form fields? I can make this required and it will have a star. Um, as you can see, mine is required because I don't want empty submissions. And I can add placeholder text. So this is a placeholder. This is, a, let's see, save it. And it's this very text right here that is semi-visible. Um, I just like to suggest to people uh, name at gmail.com. I just like suggesting people what to do. And helper text is, uh, the sort of thing that will happen below the field. So uh, let's just say here, make sure you add your correct email address, please. Oops, there we go. Save. Um, this is what we can do here. Of course, as you uh, add more fields, you can rearrange them and have, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Granular control over each. Now, the question is, how do I add more fields? How do I remove them? And here's the beautiful part. Uh, unlike most form builders, this is, again, connected to Notion. So we want to we make it so that you uh, uh, have them tightly connected. What you have to do if you want to add a new field, uh, basically, we want to make sure so that you don't have to see us that often. Not that we don't want to see you, but we already know you love Notion. We're hoping you're gonna love us, but we know for sure you're loving Notion or you at least like it. So we wanna spend, we wanna have you spend as much time on Notion as possible and we'll be there invisible, so to speak. If you wanna add a new column, a new, sorry, a new form field, well, it's all controlled by the columns you have right here. So let's say I wanna add a date field, date, and I change this here. And while we're here, let's just say, I want a number field, why not, since we're here. Now, I've saved them, I've, I mean, I've let them, didn't do anything to save. I'll just refresh the page, and when this all loads, boom, it's all here. So, date, let's, let's move date at the bottom, actually, I've just changed my mind. And let's say that the number field has to be required, and eg3. Um, now, let me put as a placeholder, actually. That's it. This is how you change or remove fields, how you add or remove them. If you forget that, we're letting you know here how to do it. Uh, but um, I hope this video is making it clear. And once you move them around, you can save the order of the fields um, just to have it all saved on our end. But that's it for, for, for this section, the form fields. Let's see, moving on, form settings. You can change what the submission button says. And obviously, as time goes by, we will add new features. He will organize this neatly as, as we add more features for you, especially in advanced mode. But um, at the time being, this is what we have. And uh, once you finish watching this video, you should have the uh, broad idea of how to use this. So I won't get into oops each and every one of them. Um, maybe here, maybe I should show you this brand color. You need to add a hex code. Now, a hex code, if you don't know what that is, it's this code that gets copied right here. See that? The 349DB, that's a hex code. Just paste this here, and this changes, as you can see, the, the color of, the, of your buttons and of, of your branding. 
Um, I'll leave this empty. Let me see if I can. Yeah, for green. And um, whoa, wrong button. And uh, that was just a quick example of how to use brand color. Again, you can change the text that comes up after a submission. So once the user fills that in, and let's see, in advanced mode, uh, we require a paid subscription for some of the features, but you can redirect people to a URL. So once they finish, you can send them to a special page or maybe even your homepage. Maybe you just don't want them to see the thank you page that we added as part of Simple Notion Forms. Um, you can receive or send email notifications to, so you can receive it when somebody fills in a form and you can send it to them as a receipt once them uh, them equals your users. So they would be your users. Once your users fill in the form, they can get a receipt notification. Hey, thank you, you've submitted this, blah, blah, blah. You can close a form submission if you want to accept any more answers at this very moment. Um, on a paid plan, you can also hide our branding that I kept clicking earlier for no reason at all that sent me to Simple.ink's homepage. So paid plans can remove this. And um, you can add custom CSS if you know what you're doing with code. Um, that's up to you. Obviously, you don't have to pay for those. And as you'll see on our pricing page, you have unlimited forms and unlimited uh, replies or submissions. So you're not limited. It's not like we would say, look, after 100 submissions, you have to pay us. No, it's free. Notion is free. So uh, make use of our freemium plan. And you don't have to upgrade unless you need any of those features. But all that said and done, what next? What's coming up next is I'll need to look for this button, embed form right here. So when you're done, click this button and I'll have this right here. Copy the link above, go to your Notion page. Let's see. So I've copied this back to my Notion page. Let me add some space and I'll do slash embed. And now I just paste this here. So again, right click, paste embed link. And if I wait for a tiny second, what's going to happen is the very, let me resize this to fit the very notion form, simple notion form I've made. And the one that's visible here is now in notion. And now people, when they, when they submit this, it all goes straight into actually, let's just try it out. So hello at hello, YouTube at gmail.com number two, and I don't want to select any date. I'll submit it. I'll wait for a second. Thank you for your submission. And voila, it is here. Um, as you can see, all the data got moved to the correct place. And as people fill this in, your table will grow and grow. Um, I don't want to make this too, too long, but this is a quick walkthrough of how to build a form with Notion for Notion that collects all the submissions in Notion. This is what we do, simple Notion forms. I'll leave the link below in the description uh, of this video and uh, make sure you drop a comment with drop a comment with any question you might have, anything that's unclear, any uncertainty or any feature you might want. Uh, either drop a comment or, you know, use our form right here because this is what we do. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching this. Uh, don't forget to drop a comment.